I wear my sunglasses at night so I can hide how drunk I am from people. I'm not that drunk. <laughs> is kind of a good look. Seeing as it's summer and you probably have friends, we're gonna make a drink that you can share with a lot of people. Because sharing is caring, unless of course you're sharing herpes. In which case, stop. One of the most popular summertime beverages is the mojito, which is a drink made of rum, uh, lime, and sugar. And it just so happens that I have a shit ton of those ingredients from my last drink. So we're gonna use what we have here and not buy additional things. Look at that, we're so logical. I'm so proud of myself. Fun fact, mojitos were actually invented in Miami uh, by a Cuban bartender named Mo. People would see him around and they'd be like, hey, mojito. Mojito. The jokes just don't stop here. Today we're gonna put a summer spin on the classic mojito, but we're gonna make it in this. But Brian, that's not a cup, that's a watermelon. Astute observation. Well, I kind of have to go through with this, don't I now? For this drink, you're gonna need vodka, sugar, mint, limes, and a watermelon. Now, mojitos are traditionally made with rum, uh, but because we're using the watermelon, uh, it's gonna be way too sweet, so we're gonna switch to vodka. If you have too many of these, you might get Q banned from your bar. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials out there on how to make a watermelon based drink, but they all involve like scooping and mashing. You're drunk and you need a user friendly approach. And by you, I mean me. So the game plan is gonna be to put all of this into this. So let's do that. What was I doing? So first you need to prep your ingredients which is the first thing they teach you in bartending school. I hope. I don't know, I never went. All right, let's put you aside. Where are you gonna go? Are you gonna go over here? You know what they say, when life gives you limes, you're doing something wrong. By the way, this is the correct way to cut limes. You chop off the ends, and then go lengthwise. Lengthwise, just how she likes it, and then into thirds. Thirds? But I'm not even done with my seconds. <laughs> I have a problem. I'm only gonna cut three limes because just that's ridiculous. If you have to be drunk while doing this, I suggest having someone else do this. So now you got a big hole in your melon. That's what she said. I probably should have mentioned that you need a hand blender to uh, mix inside the melon. But if you don't have a hand blender, you could always use a drill with a folded clothes hanger attached to it. Really fast like this. And then you got yourself a little bit of a blender. Or just get a hand blender. I have a feeling this is about to get really messy, but we'll, I guess we'll find out. until most of the pulp has been liquefied. Now depending on how much liquid you have in here, you're gonna wanna pour maybe like half of it out. Totally not the weirdest thing I've ever done. Hey, you're looking a little melancholy. <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> now that your fruit's prepared, grab a cocktail shaker and fill it about a fourth of the way with mint. Put a bunch of leaves in. Add two tablespoons of sugar. and squeeze in half the line. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, guys. I, your guess is as good as mine. And now use your trusty maraca to muddle it. Muddler, I barely know her. <laughs> At this point, it's very essential that I have a barely knew her joke in every episode. Add the rest of your lime and just gently muddle. Keep doing it. We'll muddle through this somehow. Now dump your mess directly into the watermelon. Yeah. I suggest you do this outdoors, because, you know, there's no electrical outlets outdoors to spill watermelon juice into. And finally, the moment you've been all waiting for, vodka! Now, you're gonna wanna add like one or two cups, so just... 
Maybe add some more limes just for kicks and giggles and things. Grab a mason jar filled with ice because you only have mason jars to work with and ladle some things in. Oh, that's beautiful. Garnish with a mint sprig and a lime. And there you have it, a watermelon mojito punch cooler vodka. Now, you look really nice, but do you taste nice too? Oh my god. I would recommend a bendy straw. Yeah. That is so refreshing. Well, now I have a half chopped up watermelon on my bar and no one to drink all this booze. Story of my life, that's gonna be the title of my memoir. All this booze and no one to drink it. That's a really sad title. You should make this, this is actually really good. Like, your friends are gonna get drunk, but it's healthy because it's watermelon. So, you know, if anyone's watching their figure, this is like a smoothie. See you later!